Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. At this time I am talking about writing a query that produces rank or sorted data using Spark. I have already covered uh, how we can do uh, global sorting and ranking. And uh, um, most of the sorting use cases uh, need not require global sorting, but it requires uh, uh, sorting by key or uh, group. Um, example is uh, you might want to get top performing counties uh, um, in a state which means that you just need to sort uh, by performance criteria on each state level you don't need to sort the uh, country level uh, counties in traditional databases uh, whether you do sort by grouping or uh, global sorting uh, it does not matter it mostly um, uses uh, the sorting mostly used to be single threaded. Uh, there might be some difference in the performance when you do it, but not significant. But using Hadoop, um, you can actually, or Hadoop or any big data tool, uh, using MapReduce approach, you can uh, distribute uh, 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 the sorting by group. So that's what um, um, make uh, the big data uh, systems like Hadoop and Spark are more powerful compared to traditional databases and hence it is very very important for you to understand how you can actually uh, do it uh, per key basis which, uh, da which means that you will not be getting results sorted uh, globally but within the group uh, the, the, the results will be sorted on, uh, on whatever um, other criteria you you want to apply so again we will take the example of uh, um, products table I'm launching hive here or let me launch mysql it will be faster to use mysql use retail underscore db describe products and you can see that there is a product category ID and there is product price and if you look at uh, uh, categories there are uh, 58 categories and if you look at products there are 1345 products so all these 1345 products are actually um, divided into 58 categories and I want to see under which category, uh, under the each category, uh, what is the, uh, um, I want to get the product prices sorted in descending order or ascending order uh, for each product category uh, to achieve the sorting by group and then we will see how we can actually get top uh, 5 or top 5, uh, top 5 priced products for each group. Um, uh, uh, by implementing ranking within the group so let me go ahead so we have seen uh, uh, already we have seen global sorting and also have recapped the group by key um, and also the list of operations on uh, in Scala as part of the previous videos uh, hence I will continue from there so we um, I, I'm just copying and pasting, uh, reading the um, uh, files from pro products uh, directory in HDFS and then uh, splitting by product category. This will actually split by product category, uh, means th the key will be product category and then we are emitting a record as value um, by applying the math function. Um, as the key will be product category, when we apply group by key, the list will be grouped. Uh, all the records which are values of map output will be grouped per key which is product category ID. If you copy paste these four lines, the last one will paste, uh, sorry, will uh, emit the results after grouping. And you can see the last record being uh, uh, 43 is the key and the value is nothing but a list. All the records that are related to uh, group 43, uh, I mean product category ID for, uh, 43 are uh, reported here from products table.
and if you want to read it in more readable format you can apply a flat map function after grouping by I am getting only the uh, second uh, second uh, attribute from the tuple. That's where the tuple operations comes into picture, which I have explained in the previous video. Uh, so the after group by, you are getting uh, the key, which is this one, and the value, which is a list. Flat map can be applied uh, only on the list, uh, so or uh, array, so that the results will be flattened and uh, will uh, give in more readable format. And then I am applying collect or take five for each print ln and hit enter. You can see that the last uh, okay, it, it has returned only five records from the entire data set, and the first five records are from a product category ID four. If I say take 100 it might make more sense and hit enter you can see that all the products that are related to 53 are coming together and then 42 and then 7 etc so now uh, after grouping by we have used flat map to flatten it out and display it by just applying uh, this this flat map function and then we are uh, we have uh, uh, read the second tuple uh, from the uh, group by um, and uh, the second tuple is nothing but list and it flattened and we seen we have seen the results if you want to see you can also say products group by and hit enter it will give you the uh, data type of the uh, rdd this rdd is of type string and uh, iterable string and you can see it is a tuple because it's in circular basis so using flat map we just flattened it out uh, flattened out the iterable string and we we fetched the results by using flat map that being said now we will start uh, implementing uh, uh, the uh, sorting uh, on this uh, iterable of string now you can see uh, for the 53 if you uh, uh, Product category ID 53. If you look at prices, and the prices are scattered. And the this is 129.99, this is 84.99, this is 199.99, and this is 139.99. To and as I have explained uh, in the last video, um, on the iterable, if you um, if you convert it into list, it have functions like uh, sorted. Um, and many other functions so we can leverage those functions such as sorted to actually uh, sort the data either in descending order or ascending order and uh, that can be achieved either by using map function or flat map function if you use map function it will sort the array and it will display as array if you use flat map it will sort the array and you will get the results um, uh, um, individually because it will flatten it will flatten the uh, results or it will flatten the array before printing uh, on our console so I am using uh, um, a map function first let me apply the sort by so products category products group by dot I am applying map function it will get um, uh, um, the each record as a string as a tuple of string and iterable string so this one is a tuple of um, string and iterable string which is nothing but array and then I want to sort by the second uh, uh, element so you I can actually do rec dot underscore one which will be the uh, key I will be emitting from the map function which is nothing but the uh, nothing but uh, product category ID and then because it's an iterable string if i want to apply sorted and other functions 
um, I have to uh, I have to um, convert it into list so first I will get the uh, um, array by using this one or iterable by using this one and I want to convert into list and it has uh, a few functions like sorted sort by sort with etc in this case we want to sort by product price a uh, product price if it is uh, a single uh, element it's very easy you can just use sorted but out of the string uh, which is the record itself uh, in the array array has multiple strings and uh, each string is nothing but a record which is comma delimited so i want to pull the product price from that and then i want to use it to sort hence we have to use a function called sort by function which is, which we can apply on the list and here um, i have to create a uh, variable and uh, the variable is nothing but each record uh, from the from the list and then i have to split by comma and i want to get the fifth element which is represented by subscript 4 and it is of type float so i have to use float function here and uh, that's it now it will be all the records will be sorted um, by this uh, transformed uh, sort by key and hit enter i think i have to use one more bracket you can see that uh, now it will it is uh, processing input of type uh, tuple string and uh, list of string to mapped rdd it will generate a mapped rdd so i can print it out by saying take of five for each print ln and hit enter and now you can see this is the key and uh, this is the list or key might be somewhere else yeah this is the key and you, you are getting the list the list is uh, uh, if you observe the list it is sorted by the price the price is uh, the first one is 69.99 second one is 84.99 third one is 89.99 so on and the last one is 199.99 so 199.99 is the highest priced product uh, for the product category id 53 you can validate going here select max of product category id from products where product category id equal to 53 and hit enter sorry i have to use the product price you can see it is uh, uh, of 199 dollars 99 cents and that's what we got uh, in the end here same thing if you apply flat map instead of map in a flat map you cannot uh, emit tuple so you have to remove this one and hit enter now you can see it's uh, with uh, product category ID 4 um, but the uh, as we have see, seeing only uh, as we are seeing only five records it displayed five records but it is in ascending order first one is 21 99 28 29 99 and 39 99 if you do 100 and hit enter whatever you will get you will get in ascending order here and uh, main thing is uh, if you look at this uh, uh, the second field uh, of the data set uh, the data is not sorted by product category ID. Here you got 19, here you got 7, uh, here you got 42, and here you got 53. But within each group, the data is actually sorted. For example, for 53, you can clearly see that it starts with 69, 84, 89, 94, so on, and it ends at 199, 99. You can clearly observe that uh, the data is sorted by product price. 
so that is how you can uh, achieve uh, 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 by group uh, sorting uh, if you want to sort by descending order instead of ascending order you can just say minus here because it is of numeric type if it is of uh, string type you might have to implement your custom logic about how it should be sorted but in this case uh, after applying the two float function and the result will be uh, the sort by key will be of type float hence i can uh, use minus to sort it in descending order and hit enter and you can see for 53 now the data is in uh, descending order of product price one it, it starts with 199.99 and ends with the 84.99 there might be a few more records uh, for 53 which might have discarded uh, so that's how it works and uh, this is uh, about uh, doing the global sorting uh, sorry um, by group sorting um, and now we will talk about ranking before getting into ranking uh, first you need to understand how to write uh, more complex uh, uh, more complex uh, functions in scala uh, spark as of now we are actually using lambda functions only uh, so this is uh, and these are called as lambda functions or anonymous functions um, are closers in Scala world, um, but uh, you might not be able to implement very complex logic here. It might not be uh, uh, reader friendly. For that reason, you should be familiar with about how to develop functions in uh, um, in Scala. And the way you you can develop functions uh, is you have to use uh, def to start a function like this, and then a function name and then you have you can pass the parameter and then you have to pass the variable and then you have to pass the uh, means parameter and parameter type in this case it's of type tuple i will explain and then you have to give uh, colon and then you have to give return type and then you have to say equal to and then you have to start uh, curly braces uh, to implement the function this uh, function get all um, will just try to iterate through the list and uh, display it um, uh, on the screen if we use it as part of the flat map function so let me develop so you can say def function name get all rec and here you have to give the tuple uh, and this has to match with uh, whatever the uh, output product uh, output uh, data type of the uh, previous steps uh, uh, previous step in this case products group by if you type and hit enter it is of type string and writable string so if you want to process these things this should be the parameter to your function uh, so here def get all and rec the data type should be same string iterable string and then um, I, I want to invoke this uh, using flat map so as I am using uh, uh, as I am using flat map uh, as I will be using this function in the flat map flat map has to uh, get uh, get uh, the result uh, which is uh, uh, again iterable so that it can actually print so uh, you, the return type is iterable and string and then you have to say equal to and open the curly brace and uh, I just want to return rec of underscore 2 I am not modifying anything here I am just getting the second tuple uh, from my input parameter which is rec to get the second tuple from the uh, uh, second element of the tuple I have to use underscore notation dot underscore 2 will give me the second value from the uh, uh, input tuple and hit enter close the bracket and hit enter now you can see the function now if you apply products group by dot flat map get all I have to give rec you can give like this or you can also say get all 
underscore and uh, take 100 for each println and hit enter you can see the result now get all is i'm just reading it uh, i'm not sorting so you can see and the uh, product prices are scattered now if we want to write a sorting function you can say def sort list and uh, rec is of type tuple string and iterable st string so whatever transformations you do uh, if you want to use it as part of the flat map you have to return uh, uh, an array so here I will be returning iterable string because I want to get the sorted list and then equal to okay I have to close another bracket and now uh, what I want to do is I want to fetch the sec uh, second value from the tuple which is the rec dot underscore underscore 2 return dot to list dot sort by and I can apply uh, the sort uh, um, and the passing logic to get the product price from here sort by sort by k dot split comma it's a fifth element so yeah, after k dot split on each record because it's a string with comma uh, separator it will create an array arrays has to be read using the subscripts so in this case i'm using subscript and tuples should be read using uh, underscore notation uh, hence i have read using underscore two uh, from rec but here i'm using subscript of four which is represented by circle braces in uh, uh, scala and then i want to convert into float so that will be my sort by key and it will return an array and that's it and hit enter now you can see um, how it will look like now i want to apply this sort list on my flat map and hit enter now you can see that data is sorted um, uh, by price for each product category id so that's how you can write functions also uh, to implement uh, this uh, 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 requirement and now we will get into more complex requirements uh, for example uh, uh, so far we have seen only sorting um, using uh, uh, flat map and map uh, and also we have seen how we can actually invoke the function uh, now we will see how we can uh, get products uh, top end products by price in each category and top and uh, top and priced products so there is subtle difference uh, between the two and we will see as part of the next video and uh, uh, then probably we might wrap up um, and the scala portion also uh, that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to ask any technical question please go to stack overflow ask question and tag it properly and uh, if you want to discuss please uh, make sure to join my linkedin groups itversity uh, hadoop certifications or itversity uh, apache spark hadoop certifications is to discuss certifications and apache spark is to discuss about spark itself and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye